Hello and welcome to the BMET Virtual Open event. It will take you on a journey to explore the world of BMET and the courses we have on offer at the college. My name is Jimmy, and some of you might recognise me from attending events in your school to promote the courses we have on offer across our three colleges, which are Matthew Barton College, James Watt College, and Sutton Caulfield College. So guys, just before we start the event, if you have any hearing impairments or learning difficulties, and would like to get a transcript of the event, please email ask at bmet.ac.uk we don't want you to miss a single thing. This afternoon, guys, you'll hear from some of our subject specialists. We'll talk to you more about our Matthew Bolton College courses on offer. We touch courses as digital, art and design, fashion clothing and fashion business and retail, photography, multimedia and film, graphic design and music. Wow, that was a handful. We also have support from our online service team as well to help guide you through financial support queries and anything further in that field. If you have any questions for us today, guys, please get them over to our Q&A function just below. Should be a little function saying Q&A, as you guys can maybe see now. There we go. And we'll get his questions answered as much as we can from our team. So first up, guys, I'm going to answer over now to Nelly, who's going to take over the presentation. Nelly, I'm going to go over to you now. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Matthew Bolton's Digital and Creative Academy Open event. The digital technology is expanding fast. At the same time, the number of jobs has risen at five times the rate of the rest of the economy, demonstrating how the digital technologies industry is one of the best performing sectors in the UK economy. It's worth nearly 184 billion to the UK and offers excellent and very diverse employment opportunities. So let's look more closely at the incredible range of courses we have on offer. Next slide, please. We have three discrete pathways, a digital media um, pathway, which is for level one and two learners. This course offers a broad based introduction to digital media in photography, graphics, animation and advertising. You will use a range of industrial standard software, such as Photoshop, InDesign and Creative Cloud. Our ICT technical pathway is at level two and at level three. If you see yourself as a future systems developer or an IT support specialist, then this is the pathway you should follow. You will develop skills required within the IT industry to support businesses to manage their day-to-day -day lives, whether fixing issues, maintaining their security systems or developing company websites, mobile apps or advertising their products. The computing and um, cyber security pathway is particularly suitable for anyone wishing to develop their programming and software development skills. You will gain an insight to specialist computing subjects such as computer games development, IT system security, encrypting, project managing and specialist programming. Next slide please. We don't only just offer 16 to 18 year old students courses, we have a number of bespoke 19 plus provision which will enable everybody to find their career goal in digital media. Next slide please. Welcome to the creative department. The UK is the global leader in creative industries. The sector is pivotal to the UK economy and encompasses a wealth of career opportunities including advertising and marketing, architecture, graphics, fashion design, film, TV, video and photography. So let's look at the bespoke provision we have on offer in our industry standard studios at Matthew Bolton. Next slide please. Art and design. We call this visual arts. This course is suitable for students wanting to study a broad based art and design course. You probably have studied fine art at GCSE. You'll be exploring print, drawing, painting and students go on to study fine art, architecture and decorative arts. We have provisions at level one to three. Please note that the entry requirement to level three should read GCSE in English and Maths at grade four or above. Next slide please. The fashion clothing and fashion um, business and retail courses are worth 
um, an exciting range of students come to study and they're in high demand. The work in the fashion industry is fast paced and opportunities incredibly varied. 900,000 UK jobs exist in this area, making it a very positive curriculum choice. We have two exciting pathways, a fashion clothing and textile pathway, which focuses on garment design and construction, embellishment and in illustration, and incredibly popular fashion, business and retail course. This course concentrate on fashion branding, trend development, merchandising and marketing. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Um, photography, multimedia and film. The UK has seen an incredible 3.72 growth in photography, audiovisual and broadcasting operating employment this year, making it a very viable course offer. In our purpose-built darkroom facilities and digital media max suites, you'll be taught traditional black and white photography alongside digital camera skills film, moving image and animation. We have courses at level three for this pathway. Next slide, please. Graphic design is a very popular choice. There is, has been a 4.53% growth in graphic design employment and 3.28% growth in web design and development in 2020. In our recently renovated graphic design studios, you'll have the opportunity to work on live briefs with leading companies such as Amazon. You'll learn skills in marketing and advertising, packaging, motion graphics, illustration and typography. Students on digital photography and graphics courses are all part of a digital careers college, which equips you with the skills and experience you need to succeed. This innovation concept brings together employers and the college, addressing the growing skills gaps between businesses and our students. You will meet representatives from national and international companies to help enhance your skills for future employment with the business world. This is an exceptional enrichment programme, offering mentoring, guest speakers from industry and educational visits. Recent employers include CassArt, Dizzy Link, Secret Seven, Penguin, and Gymshark. Next slide, please. Music is an ever-growing area. We have seen a 5.2% growth in performing arts and a 10.4% in musicianal work. We offer courses at level three in music, those are for students who are performers, and for music tech, for students who are more interested in behind the scenes technology. Next slide, please. Creative industry salaries and jobs are varied. So here on show is just an example of the very diverse career opportunities that exist within our digital and creative academy. Next slide, please. As you can see, all of the jobs start from junior positions right up to full size management. Your aspirations will be achieved by studying with us at Matthew Bolton. Thank you for your time. We also have a careers college, so students can join and become a member of the careers college. We've had some excellent results with a number of our students going on to have apprenticeships with Amazon. Next slide, please. Thanks, Nell. Absolutely brilliant. Really informative. That was really, really good. Thank you. There's a bunch of questions now flying from the Q&A inbox. We're going to just I'm going to flip this over here now so I can now see on my next screen next to me over here. I've got two computers going, guys. Really high tech today, really, really high tech, two computers, let's go. So the first question is, what do students go on to do after they finish a BMET course, whether that be a graphic design course, an art design course, what do they go on to achieve? Have we got any success stories that we can give today? Yes, and a number, the, 
career progression for our students is very diverse. I would say 60% of our students go on to study at degree or higher levels. A number of our students go into junior apprenticeships and they start as junior graphic designers or in digital program courses. Um, we have a number of students who go into industry and we work to support our students to go on to employment. We offer internships and um, employment opportunities throughout the course so that you have that um, engagement with um, employers from the start when you join with us. Thanks, Nelly. Thank you very much. Now we're going to the next question here. I'm not going to say their name. I'm tempted to say their name. I'm not going to say their name. Um, how do we support students in art and design? How do we support students in art and design? I'm guessing that that may be towards like equipment, maybe things that we pay for, or is there other things that we support them with? Okay. Well, if I if I start from a studio a, a studio environment, all of our studios have paint brushes, exactly like you would have had at school. We have a, a college shop which sells products which are really um, no profit based. So you things and items are really cheap. We also have college bursaries to support students on um, low incomes. And I can pass over to one of the members of the team from, from support who could talk more than about bursaries. I'll take this one, Jimmy. It's Lisa. Yes, we do have a wide range of bursary packages. Thanks, Nelly, um, for you to remove any barriers to learning. Once you have enrolled, we will send you the information on how you can apply online for our bursary. There is some criteria to meet. For example, for our 16 to 18 learners, the income threshold has to be under 25,000 and you have to live 1.6 miles away in a straight line from the college. The student services team will then receive your application and assess the evidence of your income and then we will provide you with certain products, for example, travel support, help towards meals, printing credits, and help towards kit and equipment that you may need. Back over to you, Jimmy. Thanks very much, Lisa. Thank you very much. I'm going to clip back onto myself. There's me on the screen. There we go. Right, guys. Next question, then, really simple now, is how do you apply? How do you apply? I'm guessing, guys, it's going to be the same process for everyone. So if everyone pops online, what you want to go, go to bmet.ac.uk, go down to course search, you can now filter down to what age you are, what course you're after, and what also level you're after as well, and what, uh, what site you want to study at as well. So we've got three sites. We've got the Matthew Barton site we're talking about today. Uh, we've also got other sites called uh, Sutton Caulfield College and also James Watt College. Each of us do different things, so do have a look online, check that out. But again, guys, very, very simple to apply online. One more thing I'm going to put in there as well is that I've recently made a video uh, online as well now to apply. So again, go onto the YouTube site, type in BMET uh, College onto YouTube, and just go on to how to apply BMET, be a little video of me. Uh, explaining the whole process. It's really, guys, really, really simple. It takes about 10 minutes maximum. Hopefully it's answered your question. Okay. Next question, we've got loads coming in. Are there any links or connections with local employees? Are there any links or connections with local employees? Yes, we have a number of links. Like Gymshark is a local um, company who we've worked with. We've worked with Waitrose, but we work with local organisations. We've also done quite a lot of work with GKMP. So we, we are working on libraries constantly with local employers. So that's not a problem with us here at MB. Thanks very much. There's some robot sound. I don't know where that's coming from. There we go. Back onto me. Okay. The next question is then, what do students go on to do after studying level three in music production? Well, I'm going to actually take that answer myself because I actually studied a level three many, many years ago now. I think it was back in 2012, I think I graduated from, uh, from BMET College doing music. Uh, I've gone on to make some great records for some pop producers. Uh, I've gone on to do now ghostwriting and songwriting for, for a lot of singers and songwriters and also DJs now. Uh, I've had some really good feedback the other week. We've, we've hit five million plays on a track that I've, I've worked on recently as well, that's on Spotify, 5 million plays. So really good things to get involved with, with um, the sort of BMET branch in terms of the music production courses. I'm going to maybe pass on to Nelly for some more update information about our courses right now in this day and age. Yes, um, I can. Thank you for that, Jimmy. Yeah, the there's a whole wealth of support um, for you. When people go on to do a number of courses, they do access higher education, but we work with industry specialists so that you will have an opportunity to go and do live a recording, live um, 
live technical support. We work with Birmingham City Council on a number of events they do. So we look at try to see if we can showcase you straight into employment with local supports around the area. Thank you, Nelly. Thank you very much. Back to myself. Here we go. Next question then. Here, let's have a look. We're going to scroll back to the top. So I keep reading the ones that come down to the bottom. Terrible that is. Let's go right to the top. Here we are. Okay. So what are the entry requirements, guys, to get onto our level two, level two courses across our ranges? So whatever we talked about today, whatever level two courses they are, what's the entry requirements for them? Okay. okay. An entry requirement for a level two is four Ds. Prior to that, if you don't succeed those, you go on to a level one. To do most of our level three provision, you need to have at least one GCSE in English or maths at grade um, four, and you will need four to five GCSEs for level three. If you do not pass your English and maths at GCSE four and above, we will support you to achieve those whilst you study with us at Matthew Bolton. Thank you, Nelly. Thank you very much. Let's go back to myself here. So next question is then, do I need a portfolio to join the fashion course? A portfolio. Do you need a portfolio? To join the fashion, um, if you need, if you're doing fashion, business and retail, we look at your digital skills. In an ideal world, pre COVID-19, yes, we would ask you to submit a portfolio, but now what we are doing, because we know the pressures that students have got at the moment, we will accept you onto a course and we will review the standard of your work without a portfolio, because we realise that's difficult for you to um, produce. When you arrive at college, if we then decide or you recognise that the course is too complex or too difficult for you, we will look at another way to support you to get onto that provision. With a fashion business and retail, you do not need to have an art course, but you have to have an interest in IT and be very up to date with trends and fashion industry. You like shopping, really. Um, with, as for um, our fashion clothing course, you will be required to have a GCSE in art or, or a creative subject to study that at level three. Thanks, Nelly. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, next, I've got a question for our student services team. So what are the transport links like? Are most links available on campus? That's one for our student service team. Who wants to take that out of our team? I can see Lisa and Donna are out of our team. Tricky question, who wants to take that one for us? Um, Donna will take it, I yeah, think. That, that's a really good question. Um, um, transport links are, are fairly well, um, fairly good in, um, uh, at, to Matthew Bottom because we obviously are a city centre campus. So um, we have basically buses coming in from any direction throughout the city into the centre of Birmingham. So you should be able to find any kind of a, a bus transport to get you to uh, Matthew Bolton. Also, you've got New Street just down the road as well. So if you're coming by train, you just hop onto a train, take your connections into New Street, and it's just like a short walk to Matthew Bolton. So I don't foresee anybody having any problems getting to our city centre campus. And can That's I just say... Can I just say, to reassure you, we are aware of COVID-19 and the pressures of taking public transport. The department's working with um, our timetabling team to assure that we are bringing you into college when it's not rush hour and supporting you to have staggered start times to facilitate your safe journey into college. Thanks, Nelly. I mean, a very similar question is coming. Just relate on, on the back of what you just said there about COVID-19. The question is, how will COVID-19 affect photography courses this year? OK, so, so far we, we are being guided very much by the government and what the Department of Education is saying is safe for our learners. We have, have got plans to buy bespoke items of kit so students will not be sharing items when they come into college. We will be having 50% of the students in at one time, and we will be um, facilitating materials and equipment for students to be outside taking photographs whilst they're not in college. We, all the kit will be cleaned frequently, and it's looking as if you'd be on a 50% course in one week, 50% in the following week. But that's just at the moment, we're constantly watching what's happening on the news and we're doing exactly what's being requested for us from government and also from, health and, um, from a health and safety department. 
Thanks, Nelly. Thank you again. Much appreciated. So the next question, guys, is I've got a person here asking two similar questions. One about a digital careers academy and one about a careers college. So maybe we can sort of debunk that myth about careers academy, careers college, digital this, digital that. What is it all about? What is it in simple terms? Okay. At the college, we have a, a creative and digital academy. That's an in-house academy that all students who sit on that course are in those academies. The careers college is something special. We um, are, are lucky enough to be have been accepted as a careers college, which means we have sufficient um, industry and employer links to allow us to be a careers college. Any student that applies and comes onto the digital and creative um, academy is uh, able to join the careers college. On the careers college, you have access to um, a wealth of industry speakers, one-to-one -one mentoring, live projects, and we do a lot of work with Amazon. We take our students to London so they learn to pitch and present themselves in a professional um, working environment. Thank you very much, Nelly. I'm going to come back to you in one second again now. We've got another, um, another question sorry, which regarding COVID-19. So are our lessons going to go online now due to COVID-19 or are we just going to stagger them? Lessons will be staggered, lessons will be online, people will be given resources, so you will be shown something in the class, you will go home and you will be practicing that. We will have one-to-one -one tutorials and links, so you will have classes in, in college and you will also have some of the provision outside of college. Thank you again, thank you very much again. So the next question is, if you didn't take art as a GCSE, can you still do a fashion course? Can you still do a fashion course? If you would need, you would need to do the level two course first because we do need our students to do a, a have a, a, some acronym or some skills in art to, to study at level three for fashion design. But having said that, if you've done some short courses or you can prove to us that you have got fashion illustration skills, our staff will judge you by what you bring to enrollment or when you come to the course. So whilst we, it is desirable, if you have got examples of drawing or fashion illustration that you can show to prove how, how good you are, um, we can make an assessment on your ability and put you on the appropriate course. Thanks Nelly, thank you very much for that again. Really informative. The next question guys, if you want to scroll to the top. We've only got five minutes left, guys. In fact, we've got less than five minutes. I'm going to try and get through these as fast as possible. So we've answered a lot of the COVID-19 ones. Now, hopefully, you guys have are at peace with them questions about working online and also staggered learning in college as well. One more question is regarding how many hours a week is the music production course? How many hours per week is it? Okay. A muse, uh, le all level three programmes are running uh, run over about 20 hours. Um, contact time in college with tutors you have tutorial time, you will also have independent study periods. So whilst you might only be in college for three to four days, there is an expectation that you will do at least 10 hours um, homework or independent study because you're studying effectively at three A-levels. So there is quite a hard course. Thank you very much, Nelly. Thank you very much. Just to point out, guys, I've got loads of questions coming in here. We've got abundance of questions. So guys, we're not going to get them answered today. I'm pretty sure we probably can't get more answered. If you can get them, over to our ask at bmet.ac.uk. As you guys can see on the screen there, next to our Twitter sign, the little email sign again, get them into there. We'll get them answered as soon as possible, guys, okay, for you. So a couple more questions to go then, guys. A few more questions to go. I'm just going to get rid of some of these ones that we've already answered. There we are. And then, so guys, when can you enroll? Oh, I'm getting a few of these questions coming up now. So simply, guys, pop online. Pop online now to bmet.ac.uk. Search for whatever course that you're after and start the application process from there. If you guys, if you are stuck as well, pop onto YouTube. There should be a YouTube video. Uh, but by, by myself, sorry, yeah, I think I made a YouTube video recently, as I told you guys about earlier. Uh, literally a five-minute video. Go through that, watch that through. Really, really simple. Stage two to apply online, okay? Hope that's answered your question for you. There we go. Next question, guys, is how are you managing social distancing and how will you implement into September? September time. 
Okay, at the moment I'm sitting in college. We've got a one way system. So we go up one stairs, we go down the next set of stairs. We have um, hand sanitizer at every opportunity on all of the corridors. We have taken some of the toilets out of um, action so that we can, we can ensure that we have maximum two meter spacing. All of our classrooms have been um, assessed for how many learners that we can have in at one given time. And we have removed tables, chairs, etc., so that we can ensure that we've got our two meeting distancing. We are convinced the government will move to one meter today, which will make um, coming into college much simpler for us to manage. But we are ready, we're prepared, we've got everything marked out, so you'll feel very, very safe once you're in college. Thank you very much, Nelly. Thank you very much. One more question, guys. One more question. Here we go. The last question is, do you have a student induction? Do we have a student induction when they start? Great question. Yes, we do. Um, you start by you come in for a one day induction and then we have a five week induction period, which will last for, um, for five week induction periods where we'll really get to know you. We'll assess your abilities. We'll know what your starting points and we'll know how to support you to succeed on the course you choose. Thank you, Nelly. You're absolutely on fire there. Apologies for all the questions coming into you and firing directly at you, but thank you. You answered them absolutely amazingly. Guys, again, we are running out of time now. It's nearly quarter to get, get these uh, questions, guys, over to the askfbmet.ac. We'll get them answered as soon as we can. Okay, guys, thank you. We're going to move on to the next slide. So, guys, then, at college, there's a whole student experience team who are on hand to help and support you throughout college. If you need financial support, if you'd like to see the college counsellor, mentor, we would like help in the research in the LRC, which is our learning resource centre. We are here to help every step of the way. Do you want to get involved with activities outside the classroom? Each college has a variety of activities on offer. You can speak with our student experience officer when you join the college to find out more information. So guys, if you want to find out more what's on offer across the whole BMET, visit bmet.ac.uk. Here you'll be able to find all the courses on offer across our colleges. So next, guys, we've got a little treat for you, a little short video. So as you guys can't visit Matthew Bolt at the moment, we thought we'd bring the college straight to you. Sit back and relax and watch this short video on what the college looks like on the inside. Enjoy. And there we have it, guys. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you are collecting your results this summer, or if you already have them results, head over to our college website. Again, go on to bmet.ac.uk to apply for records this September. You'll be given a conditional offer and sent more information on how to enrol to us closer to the time. For more of the team here at BMET today, we hope you enjoyed this session. We look forward to welcoming you guys 